What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. So today we are at Mission Hills Park playing Pokemon Go. Um, a friend of mine, she told me about this place and uh, I was like, yeah, whatever. I was like, yeah, whatever, we don't even care. Whatever you're gonna, I was like, we're not even gonna look at it. You know, cause you know, we're too cool for that. But uh, so we got here and literally like there's hundreds of people here. I mean, we're talking about a lot of people. Um, hold on, I'm gonna just show you guys just like, I'm only on one section of the park. I mean, you guys can see, I mean, there's like, by 30 people right here and we're just like in the corner um we're gonna take like a little loop around the whole park i just came over here because the lighting was a little bit better um so we're here just kind of kicking it so today uh i know i did a video on this already before but i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about leveling and some stuff that i found out uh with clefairy <coughs> if you guys have been fortunate enough to find a clefairy so if you guys are in the area uh, of multiple lures as you guys can see here i'll zoom out but you guys can kind of check out um, how many Pokestops are like here. Uh, if you guys are close to a park, go to the park. <laughs> if you don't have a park, you're doing it wrong. So once you get to the park, guys, as you guys can see, uh, these people have lures galore around here, guys. And it is just insane. You could just make multiple loops, collect items, collect goods, etc. Now, how do you make this, this whole leveling thing work? Um, tonight, my goal is to get 24. Um, a, there's a rumor going around here that there was somebody walking around here that was level 30, but I believe it with all of this crap all around, all over the place. Now, um, the biggest way that you guys can level efficiently is to use the shop. Or if you guys are saving your stuff as you level up, my shop looks like it's not really responding right now. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Boom. Jump shot. Um, it's going to be a collection of your lucky eggs and your lure modules and your egg incubators. Okay. Um, if you guys are going to be standing still, um, the only thing that you guys really are going to need are your lure modules and your lucky eggs. Incense is cool. It does increase the spawn uh, rate of Pokemon. However, it's just not going to be good enough. Whereas, um, you know, using incense as you're moving, if you plan to be moving, then you're basically going to attract Pokemon every you know 200 meters or so as you guys move so if you guys are planning on being stationary uh then make sure you guys are just investing in the lucky eggs and the um excuse me the lucky eggs and the lore modules and make sure that you guys have ample amounts of pokeballs um now if you guys are planning to do the traveling route then the biggest thing that you guys can look at is using your incense in combination with the lucky eggs and the pokeballs does that make sense so depending on what you guys are doing will determine how you can get the best xp and then if you guys plan on moving and i believe this is how they made it so that nintendo can tell us to get off, off our you know fat asses um <laughs> is to start using your incubators because incubating uh, your eggs is huge xp oh crap we got an eevee hold on hold on mm, gotta get that eevee yo yo spin bruh i don't want to open the screen I don't want to, stupid, it's so stupid. This game doesn't like me right now, it doesn't like me. Come on, let's go, bruh. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Why is this so difficult? Alright, so Evie doesn't want to be caught today. I think it's lagging. Alright, hold on. Let's try this again. Hold on. I know you guys are familiar with this technique. It's called close the app and go. <laughs> it's a problem that consistently happens in Pokemon Go. But, so as I was saying before, we got interrupted by the Eevee. Um, the biggest thing, guys, is to kind of find your play style and uh, determine what you're going to do based on what your play style is. So if you guys are going to be stationary, um, then do stationary things. <laughs> Lure modules, double XP. If you guys are going to be moving around, then do the incense, and you guys will find relatively good success. Now we just got to pray that this Eevee is still here. Come on, Evie. Yeah. All right, so while you guys are catching Pokemon, the biggest thing that you guys want to pay, pay attention to is to determine what the CP level is and, and, and the color of the ring that's circling around the Pokemon. So determine, you know, by that color, uh, excuse me, that color will determine how difficult the catch is or not. So this one is orange, so it lets you know that it's gonna be a little bit more of a difficult catch, and this is where your raspberries come out. 
I used to think that, um, you know, when you were doing this, that if you use the Raz, it'd automatically make it a curveball, but that was just my fat fingers kind of smudging the screen, so that was not an accurate assumption. So I try to use my great balls first, because as you guys notice, depending on the quality of the ball that you use, determines the color of the actual ring. No! It, it just always, it always breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. <laughs> a Pokemon! Uh. <laughs> But yeah, so as you guys see like you just kind of go through and again if you guys are going to be stationary Like this is kind of the best thing to do is just to kind of pick a spot and hang out uh, again being stationary is Can be one of the best ways to get XP, uh, but moving around with incense uh, Egg incubators um, and pokeballs and stuff is probably a little bit better especially when the poke stops are so condensed in an area like uh, a city park, but so far public places are going to be your best bet um so oh oh so i gotta tell you guys some insider information that i found out today um the biggest thing um that i found out today i was talking to a guy uh, he was telling me i guess there's a guy running around that's like level 30 already it was craig right and it let me know i was pretty much slacking on my game he said that clefairy is one of the best tanks in the game so if you guys have a clefairy um oh not clefairy chancy sorry chancy chancy um his chancy was 100 cp and um, his 100 CP chance he had more HP than his 2000 uh, Arcanine, his 2000 CP Arcanine. So he was saying like, um, he was telling me that the size of your Pokemon, uh, so like the weight, like will determine obviously the maximum CP. But if you guys are looking for a tank that you guys can hold uh, a gym or potentially defend, then Chansey, the little thing with the egg in his chest, is one of the best candidates to do that. Um, so make sure you guys are saving your chances. Here, let me show you guys. <laughs> Let's see the rest of this park. So I'm gonna show you guys what kind of what this Pokemon Go lifestyle looks like. We're on our way. We're walking. People holding their phones, being antisocial. It's gonna get a little dark. Don't yell at me. All right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, but seriously, it's like people of all shapes and sizes. I should have turned my damn light on if I walked over here. Don't yell at me. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> Can you guys see? Because I can't see a damn thing. Hold on. Let's keep track of it on the map. Look at my damn. I'm a ninja walking around. Unfortunately, my daughter wasn't able to join me on this nighttime Pokemon journey because, you know, kids got bedtimes and stuff. But it's okay. Here, I'm gonna show you guys. Look at this. It's crazy. There's people over here. People sitting over here. You see? I, don't, I mean, did y'all see that? Got people walking now. Pokemon Go is trying to get people in shape. It's basically <laughs> Nintendo's way said. Nintendo was like, hey guys, you guys need to get up off your fat ass and walk around and go meet some people. Pokemon Go is the new Tinder. You guys wanna say hi to YouTube? <laughs> say hi. <laughs> so here we are we're walking you guys can see all the people and it's just like literally it's just like a big loop um you know as we got as you know as we walk around and we move um and like i said if you guys are like in the gym house oh so that's another thing i want to talk to you guys about you know since we're on the topic of xp today um the higher level a gym is the more opponents you'll find in the pokemon gym and the more opponents that you kill the more xp you get so i stumbled upon a team valor gym that i crush because <coughs> team valor sucks <laughs> but uh again the more people that you have in there the better off it's going to be so when you run into a gym that has like six seven eight nine people the xp that you get for the gym increases so if you guys have a lucky egg running and you guys are doing that, um, you guys can get a crap ton of XP. Um, I got close to 2,000 XP from one rotation from a high level gym uh, every time that I fought it. Obviously until the level reduced and then experience uh, went down from there. But if you guys do it correctly, you can have a crap ton of XP because I was trying to find uh, new ways uh, to level as we you know, went through Pokemon Go. Because I'm like, who the hell wants to sit at a Pokemon stop for six hours not me i don't want to i want to do it <laughs> i don't want to do it like i told myself i wanted to do it but then i thought about it and see what happened was the way that my bank account is set up you know what i'm saying <laughs> i got a checkings and a savings 
But uh, as you guys can see, hold on, I'll show you guys. Look, see more people. See, like it's crazy. It's, it's, you just walk around the park, and it's like that the whole time. But yeah, so if you guys are into battling, again, like I talked about in the last video, like I wouldn't even really bother battling gym battle wise until you guys are over a thousand CP. But once you get over a thousand CP, and depending on the Pokemon that you have, like if you guys got a Snorlax, which is one of the strongest Pokemon in the game right now right alongside Vaporeon or Chansey, um, then you can do a lot of, a lot of stuff um, early on to get XP in gyms. And gyms are one of the cheapest ways to level as you guys go through Pokemon Go because of the simple fact that it's not real resource intensive if your Pokemon are strong enough. If your Pokemon are not strong enough, then you're gonna be spending a shit ton of revives and potions. And that's why I recommend the uh, 1000 CP up front so then if you guys got the 1,000 CP up front, it's going to be a lot cheaper uh, to level as you guys go forward on your climb, you know, past level 20. So keep that in mind, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, so we're here live. I'm telling y'all, man, it's crazy. I'm telling you guys, if you, if you guys are not playing Pokemon Go, you are doing it wrong. <laughs> There's so many damn people here. It's crazy. I was talking to one of the, some of the people up here, and they were saying that... uh. <laughs> at one of the other parks it's even more people oh crap ponytail all right i got too many of those already though <laughs> but all right y'all i just wanted to pop in um you know give you guys some live action episode six uh of the of the go vlog while we do this uh if you guys got any questions comments concerns definitely drop a comment in the box below as always give the video a like and uh we'll see you guys in the next video peace